I get a lot of messages about YouTube, how to make a channel, how do you edit video, how do you create images. One of the most common ones that I get is how to make a thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys today how to make one. Here, right on my screen, I've got a PixArt, uh, a link to the PixArt app. I'm going to tap that. PixArt is an awesome app to use for creating images, editing them, and making thumbnails. When I open it up, you can see I've got this Instagram style interface. I'm going to tap this purple button in the middle. And that takes me straight to all of my recent photos. If I want to select another one, of course, you can... Uh, I can go to all photos and it'll show a gallery of what I've created, but I'm going to keep this one right here. If you're an anime fan, you know who this is. <laughs> this is Gone Freaks from Hunter. And no, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, I've got a bunch of different options here. Like I said, this is a powerful tool, so there's a lot that you can do with PixArt. Today, we're only going to focus on the text because we're just making a thumbnail. So now that I've got the image that I'm going to use for the background, I'm going to select text. And I can type in whatever text you can see here. I've already got thumbnail tutorial because I've, I've already made one. I didn't feel like going through and, and typing. It'd be a little bit faster if you guys didn't have to watch me type. Once I select the check mark, I can pick a font style here and there's a bunch of different font styles. That's something that's really awesome about this app. If you're trying to make a professional thumbnail, if you're trying to make a comical thumbnail, there is something for every single, any possible, whoa. <laughs> There's something for any possible thumbnail type or any possible design type. Maybe I'll use this one. So notice I've got this diagonal slider on the bottom left hand side, bottom right hand side rather. That will allow me to select the size of the uh, the text. So I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to pick a color. And that's one of the options that you can see be below the fonts. Maybe I'm going to use uh, this color here. Now that's fine and good, but I want to make it pop. So I want to add maybe an outline behind it, maybe a shadow to make it look kind of 3D because I want people to be able to read what the thumbnail says. Nobody wants to have to squint, turn their head to the side, walk around in a circle or get a, some binoculars to be able to tell what a thumbnail says. They won't click on it. So I'm going to go to this, this option to the right of color. This is stroke and see how that adds an outline around the text. Now, if I want to make this pop even more, I can add a shadow. So I'm going to scroll down and I've got this shadow uh, shadow option. And so for shadow, I've got none, color, position, opacity, or blur. So I'm going to change the color. I don't want this to be black since my outline or my stroke is black. So maybe I'll make this, uh, let's make it red or red-ish. You can't see it yet because it's directly underneath the word. So I'm going to go to position and notice I've got arrows so I can change the position. I'm going to pull this all the way down temporarily because I want to show you the other things that the other options here. So I've got opacity. Opacity will allow me to either make the, the uh, shadow either super dark where it doesn't really look like a shadow. It just looks like another word or I can make it completely transparent so you can't even see it. Once you decide on your opacity, I can go to blur and blur will either make this so crisp and clear that it looks like another word or so blurry that you can't tell what it is. So once you determine how you want your shadow to look, then you can go back to position and actually place the shadow where you want it. like so. If I want the text to 
point a certain direction or maybe I want to curve to it. If I go to blend, I mean, not blend, bend, then I can make the text curve. That's actually a pretty cool feature. Orientation allows me to change the text where I want it to go. So maybe I want it to be vertical as opposed to horizontal. But I'm going to leave it right here. Once you've got the word the way that you want it. So like right now I'm finished. I can hit the check mark that's in the top right hand corner. Or since I want to add another word. I'm going to hit the plus sign to the left of it. I'm going to add text. So now I'm going to add tutorial since it's already typed out. <laughs> and I'll do the exact same thing. So I'll get a size down to where I want it. Pick the color, pick the stroke, pick the shadow, and we're done. I don't remember what color blue that was, dude. That's okay. That's close enough. Shadow or stroke, rather. We're making that black. And let's see. Oops. The shadow was a reddish color. Was it that one? Yeah. And position. Opacity. And blur. And so there you have it. I've now officially made a thumbnail. But that's it, guys. There's other things that you can do, too. You can add pictures to it. You can add stickers to it. And there's a gallery of stickers here. You can also create your own stickers. So if, if you don't want to use a default sticker like this, because, you know, you'll see in tutorial or not in tutorials, you'll see in thumbnails that people have emojis and things like that on, uh, on thumbnails. We do have default ones in this app. But something that's really cool is you can create your own. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. Maybe this can be the beginning of a series where I just show a bunch of different really cool things you can do with the app. So hit me up in the comments and let me know if you want that or not. In the meantime, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, turn on notifications so you're notified whenever I upload new content. Tell your friends to do it. Tell your friends to tell their friends to do it. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to do it, and I'll see you dudes later.